This is Naina Curley from WAMDA. I'm here at the Iman Tech Tuesday second anniversary with Farah and Aya of uh, Gel Together, a social business. Guys, tell me about Gel Together. What is the what is the model? What is the business? Um, Gel Together is basically a social business that's working to fight youth unemployment in the Arab world through a market-based solution. What we're trying to do is uh, partner with youth who have consumer product ideas and work with them to attract investment, uh, to develop their brand, to develop their product in return for a share in their company. And uh, Gel Together's profit shares in all of the companies it works with get reinvested back in the community by investing in other youth with other ideas. So you have a central incubator that takes businesses, takes the profit from a couple initial businesses and then funds other businesses with that, with that fund? Yes, that's the idea and hence the name Gel Together. We're hoping that when enough time passes by, the businesses that are supported by Gel Together would produce enough revenue such that Gel Together's share is enough to support other businesses and we wouldn't need too much support from equity investors so that we can maximize the money that gets plugged back into the community and that supports more youth, start more companies. I see. So you really want to create a communal incubator, but you're building it out of a couple initial companies. Can you tell me about those companies? What are you starting that is going to kickstart this whole mini ecosystem? Um, sure. We're starting with two businesses. Uh, one is uh, run by uh, Spara. She's making uh, gel for curly hair. There is a need in the market, in the Arab region market in specific, for, uh, for curly hair products uh, that take care of your hair. We're actually wearing the product itself now. I was going to say your hair looks great, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we're launching the product in uh, June, inshallah. The point uh, is uh, to go cover this need and actually later on have people work with us on producing this uh, gel and expand into other products. The other uh, product we're working on is uh, called the Taqta. It's a clothing uh, plus other uh, you know, personal uh, apparel uh, uh, products. The whole point of it is to help people and invite people to unleash that child within through playful designs and messages, uh, asking them to explore more and uh, stuff like that. Uh, we're hoping that these models will be more of a model that other youth would join and uh, help us attract more people to work with the uh, under gel together model. So it's a clothing line based on in, uh, encouraging playfulness? Yes, yes uh, it's basically about unleashing the child within each and every one of us uh, through various, you know, uh, uh, reaching uh, ch channels for, uh, to, with the people. Um, it's, uh, the slogan is basically playground, you know, because in the playground we ask questions, we explore, we get to conclusions. And remembering, like, when we we were children, we used to be more, um, you know, risk takers, uh, more, uh, we had to ask questions more, we were more playful, even when we were sad, you know. And that's what Tata is trying to do with the products and the positioning of the brand. So if you guys are going to build this incubator, you're going to have to scale these businesses up pretty quickly, right? Are you planning on keeping this local in Jordan or going regional or...? Uh, we're thinking of going regional actually, that's the main, uh, that's the, our goal. We're starting with Jordan because we are uh, Jordanians at first and we know the market here. Uh, but eventually we want to reach to um, the MENA region um, as, a, as a whole. And as far as the hair product goes, there's an entire uh, regional need for products that cater to people with wavy and curly hair. So it would be a big missed opportunity if we don't expand regionally. You would definitely know. Um, so just again, how did you come up with this model? How did you decide to take your companies and then want to put the money back into a central pool to fund others? How did you get inspired? I was working on two independent tracks that eventually came together. I was researching ways that unemployment could be solved, whilst at the same time researching ways that I could make products for my hair at home. And when it became obvious that there's business viability for that, because people were testing them and kept wanting more, I started sort of connecting the dots and realizing that that business could fall into a scheme that could work 
um, to address the social problem that I was. And um, when I, you know, if I'm a startup looking for funding in Jordan, what's the advantage of my coming to you as opposed to going to an equity investor? I think the main advantage or the main type of young entrepreneur that we're hoping to attract is a young social entrepreneur who's interested in starting a company, making profit, having it be viable, whilst at the same time giving back to the community in some way. So what we're trying to do is to guarantee eventually to these youth is that most of the money that they're, or most of the chunk of company that they're giving away, they're sort of giving it away to their community. If they go to an equity investor, it's great, it's a, it's a very... Um, you know, good way that people have started companies, but they will always know that that chunk of company is going back to the investor. So we're trying to make the community the investor in a in a sense. Um, just one uh, thing I like to add as well that we try to focus on branding as well because we believe in the importance of positioning the products. You know, as you see, so many uh, good uh, local products, but they could not. They don't compete uh, with the with the region, with, like with the, with the with the international products because of not very well positioning positioned uh, strategies. So that's another thing we try to focus on, and that's uh, that's where we think uh, part of our expertise uh, could value actually add value could add to the to their um, experience with us. Very very cool, you guys. I can't wait to see it take off. I hope it does. Um, thanks so much for chatting with Lambda. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.